Hi friends! Today is gonna be a bookshelf reorganization. I'm pretty sure I just finally did a bookshelf tour like a month and a half ago. Don't mind me. I bought a new bookcase. And Flash just moved to the tripod as he is known to do, and again. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed over the past few videos as I've been putting things back on the shelves, I've just been kind of like throwing them wherever because I knew this was coming. I actually ordered the shelf a few weeks ago. Like it's been here for a minute. I need to get it in here. I need to put it together. I'm um, taking all of the books off reorganizing, uh, trying to figure out some things because a lot of like my genres, I organize by genre and a lot of my genre shelves are full and so like I'm just like shoving things behind and stacking on top of and it's getting kind of messy. I'm not out of room yet. I didn't need the shelf because I'm out of room. Let me clarify. The shelf is purely for aesthetics. Um, I got a like a tall skinny shelf to go here in the corner to put at an angle. So there's kind of like a little bit of flat behind me. It is purely for aesthetics. I'm not out of space on my shelves. I've got plenty of space left. I am just, I'm just, I'm just being extra. Okay. I'm just being extra. I'm going to take all the books off the shelf. I'm going to do some reorganization. I don't know how much I'm actually going to film as far as like, do you need to see me take everything off the shelf? I don't know, but that's what we're gonna do and uh, have some fun with it, I guess. So let's get started. Time for a love potion, a little sweet and spice. Throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. Feel my devotion, follow the signs. With this love you will be all mine. I'm pulling you closer to me. You're finding it harder to breathe. The magic is taking it in your mind. It's I'm the only one that you see. And the spell will take effect Under the moonlight Stay close to my side We're burning so bright oh, 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 oh. Feel the devotion Follow the signs With this emotion You will be all mine I'm pulling you closer to me You're finding it harder to breathe The magic is shaking I realized that yesterday when I was filming, I didn't turn the fan down, so the ceiling fan. So it probably sounded like a plane was taking off during the opening clip. You're welcome. Now I need to build a shelf and I must get said shelf from the garage and then figure out where I'm gonna put it at on this floor in order to build it. And then I have to move those two shelves that way and sh three shelves this way and get it into the corner there. So that's what we're gonna do next. Uh, I guess I could show you this pile. Ye old pile of books. So that's everything I took off the shelf. 
all of the books. Those are the unread books that are on my over here. I have some plans of changing up this and some of this. Don't look at how dusty my shelves are. I just cleaned them like two weeks ago and this is what they look like after two weeks of living on a farm on a dirt road with four dogs. Should not have bought black shelves but that is a whole other thing for a whole other day. I think I'm gonna move these two boxes onto this shelf that'll be in the middle because it is like these cubies and then possibly move these books down here where that's at. That box has to stay on the bottom because Merlin likes to sleep in that one. But I figure since my chair sits right here, you're not going to be able to see what's in those bottom two cubes anyway. So that would be a good place for those. I don't know how I feel about these things, how they're going to be because my shelves are like different numbered. I don't know. I'm going to take all of the the decorations off and and move some shelves and figure out what we're gonna do from there. Speaking of problems, how did I miss this? How did I miss that? Like, what, 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 how, how did I miss that? What am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do now? Um, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, feedily deedily. I made sure I had enough room here. And I know there's two back there, but it's fine. But I missed that one. Snapdragons. I think I have a plan. I think I have a plan. I am going to watch The Covenant and build this bookcase. And then I think we're going to move some things. And we might. Possibly. Figure this out. All of my plans are going sideways. It's kind of a mess. It's kind of, it's kind of a mess. So my second plan was to take the four square off the top of that four square and put it over here. And put the thing that was over here, over there, which I did. And then to put that thing in the corner. But I think it's too deep to go in the corner. It's not It's not going to work. It's not the same depth as the other things. And I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Why it's like twice the depth of the other things. And so now I'm just out here trying to figure out what on God's green earth I'm going to do. I think I have a new plan. This is plan version 4.3 at this point I think. I don't even know. I don't even know. Whose idea was this? Was this my idea? Good. President me should go back and kick past me's ass. It has been a whole week. I figured out kind of, no, let me, let me rephrase. I figured out where the shelves are going to go. Not where I want them to go, but where they're going to go. I hated it. Um, I think it was last Saturday or Sunday and today's Saturday. Uh, I hated it. Like I still am not in love. But I don't, I don't really have any other option at this point. Like I wasn't in love with how it was before. I'm not in love with how it is now. I have all these feelings. I know what I want to do, but I can't do it. At least not yet. I'm working, I'm working towards it. Uh, we'll have a big change as soon as I can convince my mom to build me more shelves. That must be tricky. You know, Christmas gifts, things like that. I have other plans. I have bigger ideas. Uh, but this is how it's going to be for now. So today, it's 10 p.m. Today, <laughs> it's almost over. I had like a four hour accidental nap earlier, so I've got all of the energy. I'm gonna make a coffee, I'm going to turn on a spooky movie, maybe Elvira Mistress of the Dark, maybe The Covenant again, maybe The Craft, I don't know. Uh, I have to first put up my TV and hook it up, but I will be watching a scary movie. Uh, I need to clean my shelves, clearly. You've seen them, they're filthy and then uh, work on putting the books back. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what everything's looking like right now. And then uh, we will do all the things. Okay, so this is kind of where we ended at. Um, the two four cubes at the bottom, which I am liking, I need to rearrange some of the cubes where they're actually at. Uh, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm happy with this three shelf on the top. This is where I'm going to put my like 
current rotation books. So books I've read this month, books I want to read this month, um, my books purchased in 2021 because I have been trying to read everything I buy this year. So I haven't been putting it with the rest of my TBR books. I've been leaving them out and they've been in this four cube actually. And it's just this, these cubes do not work great for books. She says knowing she bought one for books. I have some rearranging to do here. That's what I'm going to do with that. Um, I did end up moving the two shelves that have the same um, extra shelf in them on either side of that guy. Uh, this shelf in the corner, 120% absolutely broken, but we are going to do our best with it and hope it doesn't fall over and die. And then this is the, uh, well, this is, this is the scene. This is the scene. Um, it is, I've been living with it like this for a week. I can't get to my closet to get clothes. So I've been living out of like the clothes basket cause, uh, cause my closet's over there. Hi closet. How you doing? Uh, this room used to be my bedroom. Uh, before it was my office and the room that is my bedroom has a very teeny tiny closet uh, So all of my clothes stay in here, but I can't get there. So fun times I mean, I mean look look at it and then there's a blanket and then yeah, so uh, it's a mess and I I have a lot of things to do and so Wish me luck y'all Time for a love potion, a little sweet and spice. Throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. And the spell will take effect Under the moonlight Stay close to my side We're burning so bright Okay, so this is where we are so far. Hey, we're watching The Covenant again. Because I have a problem. Uh, two bins down there. Candles, DVD player, all of my DVDs. Check. Uh, a sky. Hi Ty, what you doing? Scoot, scoot. Scoot your boot. That works. Okay. Um, up here we got like all of our tchotchkes back up. And then the shelf with the pumpkin is my 2021 books. And then those three stacks are um, my red books for this month, my hold books for this month. And then those are like ongoing TBR books. And then I have a shelf that's empty with nothing on it. I also got my magic books down there. And all of my like ghost story, historical, mythology, witchy, no witchy books. Those are on the other shelf. You know what I'm saying? All of those are in there. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. Everything else still empty. Still looking at this mess. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is take everything off the couch and kind of sort it by a genre and put it kind of where I want it and then figure it out from there. Time for a love potion. 
ocean, a little sweet and spice. Throw it all in a cauldron, mix it up real nice. Fire in my eyes, stir counterclockwise. I dream of you all night. And the spell will take effect Under the moonlight Stay close to my side We're burning so bright oh, oh, oh. Feel the emotion Follow the signs With this emotion You will be all mine I'm pulling you closer to me You're finding it harder to breathe start putting books back on your shelf and wonder how exactly did we get here okay so I added in the shelf like this is an extra shelf and before I had a whole shelf that was empty and yet somehow somehow we got this and like I've got stuff crammed in sideways I mean I know there's some space over here but like not a lot I have no room for my Riordan books like what happened what, I don't understand what happened. So I'm probably gonna have to do some rearranging as far as like this goes. I was trying to keep this all contemporary, which I mean, for me, who is not a contemporary reader, that's actually a good amount of contemporary, let me tell ya. Um, so what I may do is move the sci-fi over here as well, because I probably only have like one full shelf of sci-fi. So I'll like marry some things and do sci-fi, but then even if I pull all the sci-fi off of this shelf, I still need another Shadowhunter shelf, clearly. So I don't know what I'm going to do with Raiden. Like, I don't, I don't know where he's going yet. I haven't figured that part out. So I'm going to turn the camera off and finagle for a while while I finish the movie and see what I can figure out. Merlin, nobody wants to talk to you. They can't hear you. They'll be seeing this in the future. whole thumb in your ear weirdo so yeah I'm gonna finagle and then I'll be back I've decided that this shelf is gonna be completely Susan Dennard and I feel like that is like a worthy a worthy cause of the shelf and I'll figure out the rest of it as I go I'm so confused okay I think we are where we're gonna be for a while for a while so um, we showed you that earlier. I need to get some stuff back on the shelves, but like, you know, this mess sans Merlin onto these shelves here that are empty. 
but other than that, okay. So we talked about these earlier. Those are my 2021 hauled. Those are read this month, hauled this month, ongoing TBR. I made the top shelf my Raritan shelf and also I have Medusa up there because, you know, mythology. Um, then I have like YA short hardbacks. And then the first of three Shadowhunter shelves. And then this is just a mishmash of YA, some fantasy, some post-apocalyptic, a um, couple of sci-fi that didn't really fit on the sci-fi shelf. You know, bits and pieces. Uh, then a Rochelle Mead shelf. And then this is mostly Amanda Hawking, but some other things as well. Some witchy things and also the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Um, and then two more Shadowhunter shelves. Uh, do I need all of these Shadowhunter shelves? I could probably go down to two, but I'm happy with the way they look. So we're rolling with it. And then this one is, again, a mishmash of some fantasy, some fae, some historical fiction, some high fantasy, one random adult fantasy over there. Just a mishmash of all of the things. And then Susan Dennard and Witchlands and Something Strange and Deadly. All of that. And then this has stayed pretty much all contemporary, but YA contemporary hardbacks, YA contemporary paperbacks, adult paperbacks, um, adult hardbacks, with the exception of Instant Karma over there that's too tall for the YA shelves, and then this is all sci-fi. So, that's where we're at, that's where we're gonna live. Um, you know, I've also got these up here. Um, the bottom shelf of those two is all red, and that up there is also red. So, I've got red shelves everywhere, and the goal is to get all of those, enough of those red, that all of my unread books fit over there. But, uh, currently, I got a lot to go through, so... I don't know. We'll see what happens. But again, you know, I read quite a few books a month, so this will change fairly quickly. But I think I'm pr I'm pretty happy with this. I think this was a was a good process, I guess. Uh, it's like two in the morning now, so me and the doggos are gonna get ready to go to bed, and then tomorrow we're gonna make it spooky, cause it's September, and why not? New day. New nickel, same pajamas. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is the thing that we're gonna do, which also, this lighting is beautiful. Um, I bought new lights. Like, what? Oh, yeah. They're like the LED kind um, that change like to a bajillion and a half colors. And, uh, because my purple lights on the bookshelves, about a third of them work. The rest of them have all since died. So uh, I'm going to put those up next. That's my next step. And then I got my box of Halloween decorations out of the garage. So spooky time will be next. That's, that's where we're at. I'm going to put up lights and then decorate and then show you guys the final product. I also forgot to mention that I made the decision today to watch uh, Haunted on Netflix, which is like true story ghost stories. That was a decision, so wish me luck. Okay, so I just switched over to true crime because the paranormal shit was getting to me. Why does the paranormal shit get to me but true crime is like, sure, let's. Um, this is Relentless on Discovery Plus. I've been seeing a lot of ads for it, so I wanna watch it, check it out. Uh, I was watching Haunted on Netflix fucking creepy. So that's my life. Uh, hello, we have lights. So I put a row both on top ooh, and underneath because I had enough to do that, except not on this lower one here. But everybody else has a row on the top and a row on the bottom. 
which is pretty cool. I have this badass remote that changes colors, it's like purples and oranges and pinks and blues and so there's all kinds of cool colors. Uh, I think we're going to live with orange right now because, you know, live in that Halloween vibe. Uh, it took me way too many hours to put these up, uh, mostly because, I, again, I was watching television. So, you know. Yes, dear. So we're going to decorate for Halloween now and uh, go on from there. First off, TV show update. I am on episode three. Well, I've watched two episodes. I am so invested. There's some crazy shit going on in this show. So, like, if you have Discovery Plus, highly recommend. I am fascinated. Anyway, uh, actual bookshelves. So, here we go. Um, I got some pumpkins and some candles and my little, like, bottles of potions. That pumpkin stays out all year. Um, some leaf thingies, uh, a cauldron. Um, I put up the pumpkin, this garland, my big Halloween garland, a bunch of little Halloween figurines. Everybody's here. Oh, I thought there was something there, but there's clearly not, so I'm just showing you an empty space. So that's our updated shelf and decorated for Halloween. So that is it for the bookshelf reorganization. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you had a good time. I know I did, uh, although I do kind of hate it, but also not, I hate the process of redoing bookshelves. It's not the most fun I've ever had, but you know, it turned out okay, plus Halloween-y stuff. So I'm very happy about the Halloween aspect of it. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>